Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, The Wolf of Crypto, here bringing you guys another Crypto Hopper video. And uh, today we're going to talk about a little bit what I've done in the last, what, about a week or so. Obviously, the market has been doing pretty well. So I decided, let me go ahead and turn this bad boy on. Um, if you guys have seen my previous videos, I've been utilizing a lot of different exchanges, uh, doing some, you know, trading of my own. Um, obviously the hopper is another uh, funnel of my trading that I do without having to necessarily do anything um, it follows all signals and also too, I'll show my configuration again I've had some people ask me about my, uh, my configs um, again my configuration is very simple but we'll get to that um, as you guys can see right now my current positions are all in the green right now uh, we were down the red for a bit of the Bit time of the day uh, but let's go ahead and I'll show you the trade history now mind you um, I didn't put that much money on uh, Binance um, actually just add some more today might add some more maybe next week but I am going to uh, make a hopper for Bittrex I'm actually going to use the money that I've made off the hopper uh, to start up with Bittrex basically and uh, right now I'm using Binance and I'm using the uh, Kangaroo one right now, actually, right now. So the $20 subscription. And I gotta say, like I said, since the market's been obviously on the rise, this thing has been doing pretty well. As you guys can see, these are the lad, uh, latest of my greens. Um, these are all today, all Valentine's Day. Uh, as you can see about mostly buys i've only had a couple sells today about one two three four five six seven eight eight sales today um and they're all in the green um not for sure the total profit as far as today goes obviously i would have to add that up um but i did decide to go ahead and throw in like 100 bucks and it made like 17 bucks within probably like what maybe four or five days something like that um, of course, I did take some L's, and like I said, if you've seen my previous Hopper videos, you do take L's. You just gotta be make sure uh, that you marginalize them and make sure you keep them at a low rate compared to your uh, to your profits. And again, when we go to config, so this is my basic configuration. Again, I follow signal. So when it comes to these settings, some of these settings I don't really use, but as far as the max open time by um it's normally 20 minutes right now i'm only doing 10 positions i am double dipping though on positions so i do do two poor uh, uh coin as well excuse me and um, as far as coins and amounts since i'm doing the kangaroo and i'm doing it these coins according to the signals that i'm following i'm currently following two signals and I've looked at the stats and the performance reports for the last couple of days, and I'm basically just going off those coins. So, um, as far as, let's see here. Yeah, strategy, signals only, trailing stop buy is not on. I don't have this on. Sell settings. Um, these settings don't really apply <clears throat> for the fact that I configured this in each of my signals. Stop loss is on, stop loss is at 4%, and then my trailing stop loss percentage and where I arm my trailing stop loss at. So this is enabled. Um, this, is only, this is stop loss at 3%. So, you know, if the profit hits, uh, if it hits 3 and it's like going back down low, it will automatically um, try to sell it as you guys can see my trailing stop losses. So, again, configuration settings. I hope this part helps or answers any questions again if you have more questions feel free to email me or hit me up on telegram um as far as the signals i um following for binance um right now i'm doing these two and i'm actually thinking about buying the premium tonight for this one um because you go to the stats here <clears throat> So you come here to stats, and um, as you guys can see, my daily profits have been going up and down. Uh, the worst one I had was the 12th, and that was 0.92%. 
Uh, as you can see, I've had some, you know, pretty solid day as far as daily profits go. Um, some higher than other days, but when it comes to profits based on sell triggers, as you can see, if you add up total sales between the stop loss and profit, I'm at 51 with some nice profit numbers. Obviously, like I said, I do have stop losses, but my profit outweighs the stop losses. And when it comes to buys, again, I'm profiting off of mostly that uh, signal that I'm following. That's why I'm thinking about buying the premium because I've bought it before and I believe it's done pretty well. As you can see, average holding time is about four hours. Total average profits is almost about 1%. Um, again, going to set up a Bitrix one. I'm just kind of waiting for the funds from the hopper um, to actually arrive. Once those arrive, I'm um, basically going to try to copy this same format that I formulated with Binance. I'm going to try to do that again with Bitrix. I've actually found a signal alert that I'm going to follow and, you know, See if I can you know, make some profit off of that. But that's going to wrap it up for this Hopper video. Hopefully my next one will be about Bitrix. Um, so be look out for that one. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed the content, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. Share with your friends. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And make sure you guys hit the bell as well to be notified for future videos. And until um, the next time, y'all, take care.